This is GIS Tutorial Basic Workbook 1 for ArcGIS 10.3.x and I am on Chapter 1, Page 2. I have already launched ArcMap and I have already opened Tutorial 1-1 and I have a map of the United States. So now let's flip over to Page 4 and we're going to save that in a new location and you can save these wherever you want to. Um, I would recommend you save them all in the same folder all of the time. So we're going to do File and we're going to do Save As. And I am going to go up one level here and just create a folder called GIS or I may already have one called GIS. I do not. Got to spell GIS right. And I'm going to leave the name the same, and I'm going to save it. So now we're on the top of page 5, and this is tutorial 1-2. And we're going to turn layers on and off. And they want us to save this as tutorial 1-2, although it's exactly the same as what I just saved, so I'm not going to do that yet. Uh, in the table of contents, check the small checkbox to the left of the U.S. Cities layer. So I've got two layers here. The bottom one is the states. The top one is the cities. And if I turn that checkbox on, it will show me the cities. And the map on the screen now should match the map on the bottom of page 5. And now we're on the top of page 6. And we want to turn that layer off. So if you want to see layers, you just turn the checkboxes on or off. Okay, now we're going to add some data. So we're going to go to our Add button up here. And this um, dialog box here for adding data can be a little tricky sometimes. Um, we want to find the folder that has United States and we want to click on the Colorado counties layer. So that is in the GIST1 folder and I've navigated to that folder and we want to go to the data folder inside of that and then we're looking for um, United States so GDB is geodatabase. We're going to open up that geodatabase and it is made up of some maps and what we want is we want the CO counties layer so double click on CO counties and we get a warning and it looks like we can just uh, accept that now in the table of contents I'm on number six on page seven right click the Colorado counties and click remove so we've got Colorado counties over here and right click on it and click remove. So that's how you add and remove a layer. Okay, now we're on the section on using relative paths. This is something you want to do every time you save or create a map in ArcMap. So we're on the top of page 8 and we want to go to File and Map Document Properties. So let's go down here to Map Document Properties there is a checkbox that says store relative path names to data sources we want to make sure that is turned on and we always want to make sure that's turned on and then we want to click on OK on the menu bar click customize arc map options and then we want to go to the general tab and we want to select the checkbox beside make relative paths the default and that is right here and that is not turned on by default so let's turn that on and then every time we make a new map from now on on this system we should uh, always have relative paths used which means that we should be able to move the map to another system and if we move all the data along with it uh, everything should still work okay so let's click on OK now we're on the top of page 9 we want to drag and drop a layer from the catalog window so we want to go to the menu bar and click on Windows and then we want Catalog. And we want to navigate to the United States GDB in the data folder. So I'm going to have to go look for this. This is on my C drive. 
So I've gone to my C drive and I have a folder on there called srepress and then a folder inside of that called gist1. And what we want to do is um, data folder here. So I want to open up the US, the United States GDB and then I want to grab Colorado counties and I want to drag that over here. And we're going to click on close, and there we go. So that's another way um, to get a layer onto a map. Uh, and now we're on the bottom of page nine. Click the auto hide button on the top of the catalog window, and uh, it has already uh, gone off to the side for us. And if we click on it once and it's pointing down, then it is pinned open. And if we click on it again, uh, it goes to the side. So apparently we want to open that up on the bottom of page 9. And now we want to click any place on the map or table of contents. All right. Okay, now I have already closed the catalog window, so that part of that step is not in the video. Um, now we're on the your turn part. We want to use add data or the catalog button. I prefer add data to add the Colorado streets. It's also found in the United States Geo Database. And um, let's go to add data. And um, it's back in the United States Geo Database. And I want um, Colorado streets uh, with no number after it. So let's just click on that and click on add. And you see a little bit there, kind of in the middle of Colorado. And unless we zoom in on that, which I think we can do right now, let's go click on our magnifying glass with a plus sign over here. And then let's uh, just zoom in on that. And it looks like we might have to zoom in a second time to get a good look at it. Yeah. And it's still, even at this level, it's still uh, too small to see all the lines. There we go. Now we can actually see the streets. And if we want to go back to our original um, full extent, actually that might go a little too far. It did. Uh, that shows me the full extent shows me the entire map, which is basically the United States. Um, it looks like it's placed in a map of the entire planet. And I'm going to go down here and I'm just going to zoom in on the part that's of interest right here, the contiguous 48 states. And that takes care of the your turn part on page 10. Now we're going to go to the bottom of page 10. We're going to change the display order. There is a uh, button called list by drawing order. And it is this one. And if we do that, then the layers will be drawn in order starting at the bottom. So this is the bottom layer. This is on top of that, this is on top of that, and this is on top of that. And it says take the U.S. cities and drag it down to the bottom. And those U.S. cities are going to disappear because they are now drawn before we draw this map. And since we can't see through the yellow, uh, the cities are not visible, uh, but they are actually there. As a matter of fact, if we went up here to the U.S. states and just clicked on this, and said that we wanted it to be hollow and then clicked on OK. Um, now we should be able to see all the cities through that because we just made it transparent. And let's go back here, click on this, and um, I think that's the shade of yellow it was before. And now we want to drag the cities back up to the top of the table of contents. And now they're visible again. We want to change the layer's color on the middle of page 11. In the table of contents, click the Colorado County Layers Legend symbol. And so I'm going to click on that. And this is the one that we just saw a minute ago. And um, we want to select the Fill Color button, which is over here. Uh, if you pick this, you've got more choices than you have with the ones over here. But basically, it's doing the same thing. It's just going to let you change the fill color. And uh, we want to click the tarragon green tile. And they all have numbers. If you just pause over them for a second or so, uh, a little tooltip will come up telling you what the name of the color is. So you can always find the one that they're recommending. So that's tarragon green. And we're going to click on OK. And now they are green. 
Okay, we're now in the middle of page 12. We're going to change a layer's outline color. And in the table of contents, click the layer's legend symbol for Colorado County. So that is this. And then the outline color is over here. And we want the black tile. So click on the down arrow. And the black is down here in the lower left-hand corner. These are just all shades of gray in this first column here. Click on OK. And now we've got darker lines separating the counties. And that's probably a good place to stop the video. We'll continue with tutorial 1-3 on page 13 in the next video.